All right, hold on. Now in this sample, here we, here it is. Flip it around the other way. This is, as a fruit fly biologist, one of my favorite samples. Which like, Blunt, you have a lot of favorite samples. Yes, I do. And I will not apologize for liking a bunch of samples, chat, because I, I like science and sciencey things. This is the reason it's one of my favorites. Definitely, yes, definitely my top 35 samples. Yes, Golden Act, those are eggs. So why I think this is really, really cool is that this fruit fly is act actually laying. There we go. So we've caught it actually laying as it was preserved. And what's really, really cool is you can see kind of the effects of over drying a sample. So those eggs, so if you look at the egg here, the, here's a shell or the corion, but you can see inside of that egg where the cursor is, there's that little dark spot. And that's because the actual embryo has dried up and shriveled up because they're not kept hydrated inside the amber piece. Because the corion is actually really, really good at keeping moisture in and keeping other stuff out. And so, but it still has air transfer. So it needs the ability to move air in between the samples. And because it was kind of, you know, stuck in the amber, it <laughs> shriveled back down. And each one of the embryos, you can see that. So these are like, what I, this is like a really, really cool grab. You can even see like, this is a very, very healthy female. The way you can see that is the abdomen is very extended. And that extended abdomen is a clue towards a healthy female. If it was very much collapsed in on itself, then it wouldn't have been healthy or well-fed. And all the abdominal size is a cue for um, overall how much food that they're eating and what quality. So higher protein resources, um, means bigger abdomen and better embryos more eggs inside golganak have i not gone over fruit fly embryogenesis with you we're gonna take a picture golganak and we're gonna go over fruit fly embryogenesis why so the body will sacrifice reproductive skills before the health of the fly itself yes yes rpg fans so the way it works is So this is our little fruit fly. There are its eyes, okay? I love those silly jokes then. The ovaries are here in the abdomen. There's an oviduct and then they lay eggs. This, if we pull it out, is what they look like. So those are the, there you go, Zen's got that fruit fly emote. One of the few people with a fruit fly emote Zen has access to. Um, so these are like, these are what the ovary structures will look like and it, you can actually break it down a lot further. So these are actually bundles and bundles of cells here. They're essentially in lines and rows. If you look at what these rows actually look like, it's a conveyor belt of eggs. So you have increasing sizes as you move down this little conveyor belt until you actually hit the egg stage that actually is being laid. That cell at the very beginning, wait, it's one of the better T2 emotes I've seen. Most streamers don't devote that much to You should see the tier three one RPG fan that Zen has access to. The Zen has a lovely tier three emote, I think. I don't know, Zen's never told me if he likes that emote or not. But Zen has it. It's a little artiste ant. A little artist ant. So, this is called, of course you do, Zen. Flags like she has her hands on her hips and she's judging me. I mean, a little bit, a little bit. This is called, the germarium. There it is, then. 
Learned a lot about Lucifer virus today. Quite something. Very nice, Hugh. Where were you learning about that? So the germarium are embryonic stem cells, meaning that those, when they divide, they can become anything. So what ends up happening is the embryonic stem cell, just look at it here, it divides asymmetrically. What that means is it divides one of the cells that it divides into becomes the egg, which is here. The other one stays as an embryonic stem cell. I'll actually make a note of that. So ECS, <clears throat> embryonic stem cell. Uh, RPG. I Look, I want to give everyone all the love possible. And there's only so much I can do. Thank you, Hugh. I'll keep that I'll keep that tabbed up. I can't do any more emotes on tier two and tier three, but and there's very few tier two, tier three people, but and it, you, there's never any pressure for anyone to sub here for bits here, nothing. I'm just glad you guys are here hanging with me and chatting science. So not really a spare Golganak per se. Instead, what happens is this ability to to divide over and over again is maintained. So that embryonic stem cell can keep doing this division over and 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 over again. Meaning that it's not limited by, like it, it's not like people, right? Humans have a set number of eggs. Once we run out of those eggs, that's it. Flies on the other hand, and most insects will never run out of their eggs because they'll always have this embryonic stem cell to divide in this way where one division becomes the egg and the other division becomes the stem cell. So it's self-renewing. In a way, it is eternal. It does end up, as they age, there starts to be mistakes in cell division. So they're not as healthy as they are at the beginning, like in, in the their young states, um, but they're not limited. So if you keep them well fed, then they stay healthy. Thank you, Zen. I love you, Zen. Zintaus. Now the big catch with these, we were talking about feeding behavior. So you can actually categorize the ovary into a couple of different sections. Um, so the, this, these very young stages here, actually let's do it here. That's stage one to two, or one to three maybe, stage. And there's 14 stages total. Like telomere caps decrease in lifespan of DNA segments. That are so RPG fan when they're dividing and you're trying to end up with the same number of chromosomes in each daughter cell, um, though there's increased likelihood of mistakes as the organism ages, just like in humans. And so even if your telomeres are totally capped, um, it'll be a it'll be an issue with that. So germaria, Golgonak is the plural, and then germarium is the singular. Feels birthday, man. It does feel kind of birthday. Possibly. Um, the next big embryonic checkpoint, it's stage seven and eight. And then the final big checkpoint, let me just write it here. Stage 14. So this, I'll write it out. Stage 14 is laid egg. So it's gone through all its development. Now, there are a couple of checkpoints for food. Because let's say the animal has a very low amount of food. What do you do? Do you starve yourself and feed your embryos? No, because if you do that, um, If you do that, then they're not gonna, like you're gonna die faster than you'll be able to lay the embryos, right? So instead what happens is there's actually signals that are sent inside of the develop, like with insulin signaling. So if your insulin levels go too low, there is a peptide that is released at the eggs that causes them to basically erupt. Apoptosis, programmed cell death that occurs. And it can happen at two stages, 